another uh, live episode of uh, Riding Away with Dave, and I'm here with uh, Doctor and his professor Jason Box. And uh, Doctor, thank you for attending. And then I also want to introduce the Internet skeptic, and it looks like it's going to be a future foe of your uh, Robert Wagner. Uh, uh, partner. <laughs> partner. Uh, uh, partner. I, 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 dreamt, I dreamt last night that we were good friends. <laughs> well, you know, hey, I, I'll tell you what, well, I, I don't see any reason why, why we all can't yeah. be friends. don't mean we agree we with everything. We leave it on the playing field. We, we fight out here, and we'll go get a beer afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So there's no hostility, no hard feelings. Uh, I think we all learned a lot, and we really enjoyed it, I think. Okay, well, let's let the audience know exactly what we're talking about. You put on a presentation today, Bob, uh, another, another global warming presentation. And Dr. Box was good enough to fly clear across country. You just came in from Las Vegas, right, right, Doctor? Well, I came back from, uh, but I only got in, you know, late last night, and I didn't have much time to prepare for this. And so, but I'm here. But but it's nice having you in, in attendance. And so we didn't have a real big crowd, but I think a very enthusiastic crowd. But we had a great debate afterwards. And let's get the audience up to speed on yourself because I don't even know all your credentials and what all you've been into. So why don't you go ahead and let the audience you know, have a background on yourself. Okay. Um, I've been studying the climate of the Arctic mainly. Um, that's my regional focus is the Greenland ice sheet. I've got the lapel pin here. Okay. Um, I've been making expeditions to Greenland uh, since 1994. We're studying the climate sensitivity with a variety of techniques, uh, you name it, satellite, um, GPS, weather stations, uh, repeat photography, and on and on. Um, the, story, the climate story for me begins age 20, um, University of Colorado, Boulder, um, read some books um, that were very influential that, that made me realize that, that humans do influence climate. Okay. And I wanted to understand that more and I wanted to be part of the solution. Um, in the past 15 years or so, I've developed an academic uh, career um, studying climate and I've co-authored a number of publications, and um, a high point for me was being a contributing author to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's report. It was the chapter about glaciers, um, but I, I accept the science of, of human-caused climate warming, and that's why I'm here for this debate. Okay, and, and it was great to have you here. Bob, having put on your presentation and having uh, the doctor, you know, respond to it and stuff, um, what was your take on today's uh, show and um, everything? And I know you guys are going to be doing some more stuff on down the road, but, you know, on today's deal, how was it? Oh, I thought this was probably the best event we've had so far. Um, as you noticed, normally we do this in a political environment, so it's like throwing red meat to a bunch of wolves. Uh, this one we went much slower. Uh, we went through and we spent a lot of time making sure the science was well known. We gave people the time to rebut it, uh, and we had a phenomenal discussion afterwards. But I think what's most important is when we asked the question at the very end, that I think everybody agreed this was the conversation society needs to have. Uh, this has, you know, because we're saying the debate's over with, well, I think after most people saw it today, they understand the debate's not known. And uh, I think a lot of people walked out of here a lot better off than they walked than they did when they came in. And, and you know, I had a gentleman um, tell me, say, hey, Dave, you know, be sure and ask this question to the doctor. Should I call you doctor or professor? Um, Either, or. Either is fine. <laughs> okay. Um, and it was one of the questions. Uh, accurate. Okay. Okay, professor. Uh, and the question was, in your opinion, when has the debate taken place and what do you think about that? Well, you know, you're right. There's not been much public, high-profile debate about the climate change issue and, and humans being a, a significant contributing factor. Um, and I think that's because the majority of climate scientists have have accepted the theory. Um, the the skeptics, um, there are, are some within the climate science community. Um, they. In, in my view, they've not made uh, convincing arguments to the contrary, and, and so the hypothesis, what was once a hypothesis, this was decades ago, it, it has not been disproven, and therefore today it remains true. Okay, and Bob, you want to go ahead and respond to that a little bit? Well, that's what the presentation's about. I, I'm, I'm an old-fashioned scientist. I, I believe in the tyranny of the status quo. And, you know, I have an infinite number of quotes there of scientists saying, wait a minute, this is A is no different from the past. Um, you know, there's plenty of causes that are, are, that, are being, that are being ruled out without really being studied. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a scientist. I'm skeptical. Um, and my background is modeling, and what I see is very poor modeling. I know one thing, if you try to, if you took this data and repackaged it as, as drug research and turned it into the FDA, they'd probably throw you in jail for what, at least what I've seen. Um, so, 
I haven't been impressed with, you know, from the presentation I've seen. Um, and that's, you know, my, my, I'm a skeptic, and I've made a case against it, and I'm glad Dr. Box came in, looked at it, and he's going to go now refute everything I've said, which is what we want. We want to, I want to, I'm just seeking the truth. Um, I've raised questions. I've got the expert here, and now he's going to go shred it and show me where I'm wrong. And from a layperson's perspective, you know, I really appreciated you being here because you opened my eyes to a lot of different thought process. And I think one of the points that I hit on, and maybe you can expand on this more, is that it seems like it's a three-pronged deal where it's not only just about global warming, but it's also about uh, energy and power and was economics the other thing yeah. okay go ahead and expand on that well, professor it's, it's it's fascinating um we're in the midst of an economic crisis right. um the climate change issue is all about an environmental crisis okay. and at the center of this issue is energy okay. it's the burning of fossil fuels and 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 um petroleum that's that's created much of the the climate problem and um so we need to understand all three of those and you can't actually solve problems on any single one of those nodes. You can't solve the economic problems without addressing environmental and energy problems as well. And, and that goes for all three of those. So right. we need to have a systems perspective and um, recognize this complex system. And I hope you'd be willing to join some more future public events. Um, well, it's, it's tempting. I mean, like you said, it's exciting. Um, a little unnerving because we're not agreeing about everything. <laughs> it's like a marriage. Well, I mean, that's, that's why this debate hasn't been happening. I think a lot of uh, people on, on all sides, maybe it's just the climate scientists, they're afraid of, of uh, going into a hostile environment. I mean, that's, I was, I was uh, a little reluctant, you know. I didn't, yeah. I didn't want to uh, be I you know I didn't know what to expect that was the biggest thing yeah. and I, I must say I'm actually very pleased yeah. um, at how hospitable yeah. um, Dr. Wagner has been and everybody has been so yeah. it's it's um I'm I, I it gives me a little bit of hope well, yeah. good, good. Well, you know, <laughs> well, I'm, so I'm glad to hear it because I, you know we that's exactly the answer I wanted to hear and because the key is we have to have some civil discussions on this to get to the truth we need to treat this like any other science you don't go out there and just start ad hominem attacks left and right about people. Let's just look at the data and reach a conclusion. That once the politics has gotten involved in this, it's just become very ugly. Well, I you mean, know, you saw what happened with Jim Ganahl. Yeah, well, you know, my from my perspective, I appreciate it having both sides of the equation here because, you know, I think it gives a chance for a regular average citizen to actually e expand their knowledge base, which is, I think, what it takes. And, you know, I think today, you know, you've made an excellent point about the three prongs and you really have to look at all three of things and time in together. You know, like I said, my whole perspective is that I'm very concerned that the bottom line is going to be that if they get their way with the, the global warming through and this cap and trade, which we haven't even talked about in this discussion, that it's going to lead to a lot more higher costs for us, uh, you know, slapped on the economy, slapped on our energy bills, uh, and, you know, things taken away from our way of life and stuff. So I'm extremely concerned about all three of the issues that you brought up and so that's where a future debate I think is going to be Everyone's important. Everyone's concerned about those issues, Every, you know, the, the economy is at the top of the list and um, you know it's unfortunate really that the the environment, the climate has fallen continually low on the the rung of issues um, because it's being eclipsed by these urgent right in your face economic problems like losing your job or something yeah. and, and uh, so I'm, I'm concerned from my position that the, the, the climate issue won't get the attention it deserves because it's it's not at the top of the list. Ironically, it is because there are economic dimensions that are um, intertwined with the climate problem. Okay. Well, hey, listen, we're going to go ahead and wrap up just because of the time factor. But like I say, thank you very much for taking time of your schedule and for riding away with Dave and Bob, another great presentation. And we'll, we'll get together on down the road. Okay. So that's it for now, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. That's it, guys. We'll see you. Bye.